What is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with a quick video on the upcoming Pestilence Scourge event that's actually going to be released later on today. Uh, I wanted to give you guys a quick heads up because I love reviewing my Apocalypse timeline in regards to how things are shaking out uh, until the remaining of the release of Apocalypse early next year is when I'm speculating. But as you can see on screen here, the cure for Pestilence Fever is upcoming here. Um, it's essentially going to be going in tandem with the Pestilence Scourge event, allowing us the opportunity uh, to actually have rewards such as the Dark Hole, Dark Hunter, and Web Warrior Shards uh, in conjunction with this event. Now guys, I want to bring to your attention because um, I love reviewing my timeline because it really gives me a sense of what to expect in the next six months, especially if we're estimating and speculating that Apocalypse is going to be released upon the Marvel Strike Force anniversary date, uh, which by the way, I think is still quite um, uh, quite a possibility just given everything that's happening, all the releases that have come to date, and especially with them finally confirming as well, the Death Scourge uh, definitely slotted in before the end of the year. So let me pull this open for you guys. Um, this is the original um, timeline I kind of built up on, and to be honest, it hasn't changed much. Uh, the only thing that's been different has been the additions of the additional Scourge events that have not been, uh, you know, anticipated, right? Like, we've added in the multiple Morgan Le Fay Scourges, and as well as kind of what I'm estimating uh, going forward um, after November and uh, into the new year, as well as ultimately March 2023, Marvel Strike Force's uh, anniversary day, which is when we speculate that Apocalypse will likely be released given the um, just the importance of that date, but as well as uh, how this event and everything has been building up for the last year and a bit. Now that said, guys, I want to bring your attention to the first six months of the year, you know, really focusing on April to October, uh, where we really saw the running of Pestilence, the Morgan Le Fay Scourge event being quite prominent and then followed up by finally Famine uh, later on in a couple of months. And then the War Scourge, uh, which was a tighter window, but it did come out in September. And then shortly afterwards, they confirmed that Death Scourge was happening before the end of the year, uh, which we are right now using this timeline estimating about um, probably in December, could be middle December, maybe the end of the year. That would be a great way to kind of close off uh, the rest of the year. And uh, now, guys, I, I want to bring your attention to obviously the last six months of the year leading up into Apocalypse. You can see here, um, you know, Morgan Le Fay Pestilence Scourge is coming about for the fourth time. Uh, that's actually going to be released today, and it's going to be the most prominent out of the other um, ones that we've seen so far, uh, which is quite alarming because the more of these ones that we rerun, it does create a more constricted timeline of what we would expect, especially if we know that the end date is going to be uh, March 2023 being the apocalypse timeline. So. Um, it's looking like potentially it might get moved because of how constricted everything's kind of looking and it may also be dependent upon how they review um, you know, their internal development. Perhaps they need more time. Um, who knows, right? That said, I've kind of refreshed and added what I expect um, to happen for the rest of the year. So in November, uh, we should see a running of the War Scourge again for Red Hulk the second time. And then in December... Uh, we should see Famine and Rogue coming back for a third time, as well as finally the running of the Death Scourge for the very first time. Uh, follow this up in the new year, unless they kind of change the gaps between how um, the Scourges are kind of placed in between. Uh, we would expect Red Hulk to finally come back for a third time, followed by the last time for Rogue. And then finally the rerunning of the Death Scourge with War and likely Death again, kind of to top it off um, before the Apocalypse Unlock, guys. So why is this important? Why is this relevant? Well, guys, right now, based on this timeline, and to be honest, um, this is as constricted as it's going to get. Assuming Apocalypse does come out in March, um, and, and given that most of these events are going to run for four times, uh, that's being conservative, right? Like, even right now, that would mean that this is going to be the last time we see Morgan Le Fay in a scourge uh, before Apocalypse. So... Um, the reason I wanted to make this video was really to kind of bring to your guys' attention that this potentially might be the last time um, that we can get an opportunity to get shards of Morgan Le Fay from a Scourge event setting. Otherwise, the only other instance would be orbs that they kind of push out through um, either, you know, pay to play or through um, uh, power cores, right? So uh, this would be the time, guys. Um, if you recall with Morgan Le Fay's event, um, and I'm wondering if maybe they have on screen here the preview, uh, let's see here. No, they don't. Uh, but with this event, if you're able to amass at least 100k total in points, 
um, going through difficulty one pretty much and, and using a team. I think uh, you can get by with a 100k team. That's generally the power level. Usually you associate the power level with the score level. Um, if you can get through it and are able to participate with 100k points, you're going to get a bare minimum of 40 shards, giving you the unlock for Morgan Le Fay, who is going to be required for the unlock of Apocalypse. Uh, if you recall, the reason why that's at all important is because we have this epic campaign here uh, where the Apocalypse Saga is already written in stone here. And you can see War and Death are still or remain to be released. But uh, so as long as you have Morgan Le Fay unlocked, guys, and you bring her to be able to unlock and get through this heroic mode being the second check mark here, um, if you're able to do that, you're going to be on track to unlocking Apocalypse. Uh, but yeah, guys, um, given the timeline, like I said earlier, it's alarming that this may very well be the last time we see Morgan Le Fay from a Scourge event perspective. That's assuming they don't push out the Apocalypse on release, right? So um, uh, that's just kind of what I'm seeing right now. I didn't really expect it to happen this many times, but um, the for sure, this fourth time could very well indicate that uh, the time is limited given the remaining months that are given in the rest of the year. So yeah. There you guys have it. Um, I hope you guys are able to prepare. Um, I have made videos in regards to the guides going through my initial and um, the, the later difficulties uh, of the scourges, but I'll have that linked in the description below if you guys need that for reference, as well as the best teams and characters to utilize if you're just trying to push ultimately for more shards in this unlock. Um, I wish you guys all the best of luck. Hopefully, uh, my hypothesis is incorrect. Hopefully, there's more instances. But uh, like I said, this timeline has been pretty telling of what we've seen already uh, with the additions of the new scourges. So uh, thank you as always. Do let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. Thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next one.